Okay, the Unreal Engine was installed on the remote server. Back to the remote server. Here you can see the icon and everything. I got it installed and I just launched it real quick to make sure there was no errors. And let's see now. If we go into back to our where our server is at. And there's our shortcut we made. If we double click it, it should work. Here's this warning still about plug substance. Substance is installed. I don't understand why it's saying that. Sweet. There we go. It launched our dedicated server. Awesome. Let's go back and we will try to... Um, let's shut this down. And... Let's go back into our folder. Oops. That ain't what I wanted. I guess I closed it. Oops. Wrong. Wrong folder again. We want to go to publish. And here's our client. So let's launch it. Oh man, I forgot that I changed the maps around. It's starting out with the wrong map. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to have to take a time out here. I'm going to go back and rebake the client and the server again. But I am going to um, show you. We'll launch this again now real quick here. what I'm talking about there's some settings that I should have went over already and I forgot so if we go to our project settings and in our packaging you can okay yeah we want to make sure both our maps are included and they are and we want to go back to maps and modes I believe yeah game default map editor start map we want both of these to be set to the menu for our that way we we're at the server settings menu and so menus menu and I believe everything else is okay here alright so I'm gonna I'm going to re-bake out everything. It's going to be a while, so as I'm doing this, I'm going to pause it again. Let me get this bacon here in the publish. Make sure it's still going. Yep, publish. All right. Be back. All right. This just got done re-baking out all the, uh, the new .exe and the client, and I'm going to go ahead and just quickly run through all this so first thing I'm going to do is go back to my publish folder or I'm sorry we need to go to uh, our project binary 64 and then we want to get the new server .exe and it should have automatically cleaned up the old files I'm going to copy these and we'll go back into publish and I'm going to delete everything but the client the top one's the client there we go and now I'm going to just back out of here again and go to the uh, well, we'll just go to the Windows No Editor I'll copy this and we'll go to my remote on my server and let's shut the old one off it's still running and I'm just going to nuke this folder there, deleted and then I will paste the new one over
this is almost done. There we go. Now I'll click in here and go back to our server, server.exe, and I am going to create a desktop this time. We'll make a shortcut to the desktop, so that'll go out there. We can close that now and I will edit the properties here so there and then we want to go space aim slash darn it did it again. It's not publish. Why I keep doing that? Maps. And then the map, which I think it was the oh, first map. Space minus log. Okay, and let's see what happens. Nice, it launched. And we got a lot of errors up there, but we're not worried about that because well, we're not done. This was just a test to see if I could bake it out with what we already had. With custom uh, plugins, and uh, you can see some of these here are stuff that we just never finished yet. So we'll get to that, then we'll be gone and this is running so let's uh let's go back and see if we can't launch a client and see what happens hopefully it goes to the menu setting or the main menu nice there we go now we want to let's see if we join and see if I'm curious to see if it'll find any servers. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why it's not. I don't know why it's not finding it. It should find it. We have console, so let's see. Open hmm. it connected. But I don't know why we're not seeing anything. <laughs> well, it's probably because we don't have it to display right yet. We don't have the proper coding. I'm trying to see here. Let me see too if I. We have to do something with Steam. Let me try to launch my Steam. It should show somewhere through here that I connected. See right here. Yeah, it's probably because we're missing. Yeah. Yeah, our player controller is not set up right and stuff. But this pretty much confirms that we're going to be able to do it, and it's going to work just fine. Let me try to launch again here. funny this don't seem to be 
updating it should flash or something say searching if I remember right I'm not quite understanding that but something don't seem right there and why don't I have any sound there we go oops didn't want to do that Not sure. We'll try to connect again with console. Except I believe it's yeah, it's coming. I won't. Uh, there it is. Yeah, I'd say it's probably because of our player controller or something. I'm going to see, though. User ID invalid. Hmm. Yep. We just need some code here. There's some stuff missing. But it's showing right here that local network version. Yeah, it's 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 connecting. It's just uh we're missing something yet. But there we go. There there that is. And if your game's further along and it's got a functioning player in it, then uh, you know. You should be able to play no problem connecting to the server, but I'm satisfied to see that, you know, uh, server's running, the client runs, connects, we don't get an error or nothing, so we just got to continue building our game, because, I, you know, if I go real quickly and show you too, just hit play we go to host game and start hosting you will see that there's a character there but I can't move him or nothing and even the camera is probably not uh, set up right so I'm believing that's what it is and of course we're missing the player controller and all that stuff and we don't have anything for the level blueprint or nothing like that so I bet you that's what it is too it's in the level blueprint so, but, all right, I hope this might have helped somebody, and if there's anything that you see me do wrong or whatever that can better this video, please post, and uh, I'll probably do more dedicated server videos in the future once I get this further along, and we get to actually get the, uh, server menu working to where you can join off that menu like you've seen and it should detect land or internet and you know hopefully we'll get the buddy system working and steam to where your friend can join in off you and some voice over IP and all that good stuff so alright you guys have a good one